So you're planning a trip to the great outdoors, huh? And you want the perfect knife. The perfect folding knife. Because who takes a fixed blade to the outdoors, right? And what if, hypothetically, you're a Civivi diehard fan? Well, you can't go out into the woods with your Civivi Hadros. No. You need the hardest working, toughest, strongest Civivi out there. Well, never fear because I have the answer for you. Shabam! The Civivi Mastodon, the closest thing Civivi's ever made to a abusive, hard-use knife. You're looking at a blade of 9CR18 MOV, G10 handles, it's a liner lock, it's running on washers, big old cleaver blade, chunky grip, forward choil, four inches of blade, less cutting edge because of the choil, pocket clip, reversible. Will this get it done? Let's find out. The Civivi Mastodon is a big old knife. However, it's nice and thin behind the edge. Very thin. So it should be a good whittler, right? Let's see. All right, magical time zoom. <laughs> uh, that's all I had the patience to do. Not that this knife wasn't whittling good, it's nice and thin so it did whittle nicely but the monstrous blade was just hard to control and so this is all i had the uh patience to do tried to do a little miniature feather sticking but the big blade just kept breaking them off so but who cares about whittling let's go and do some durability testing you might think i'm making a survival lean to right now but i'm not We're gonna do some chopping. <laughs> All right then, you know what? That was pretty good. That was actually really good, holy cow. Let's go again, a little bit thicker, let's see. Awkward angle. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys, I am actually pleasantly surprised. Got a chip on my shoulder. I mean, look how deep this guy bites in. Watch this. Oops. We need something to balance it on it besides just my springy arm. Let's go this way. That was a lockup. Centering is still, still right on. It got smoother. <laughs> we need to find something else to chop. That was just, that was way too much fun. All right, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna do a POV chop. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I came out here in the woods today just to make a kind of funny video about using a folding knife, a Civivi, as a uh, survival knife or whatever. But um, you know what? I'm actually enjoying this. All right, so first person POV chop. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't bring my paracord with me. Oh, no. Hmm, we got to figure out something else. Okay, let's hope this is going to be seen. <laughs>
my gosh. Uh oh. The lock failed. That's not good. See if that lockup is still good. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> I'm not even hitting that hard, really. Well, then. <laughs> One throw and that was it. <sighs> kind of a shame. I had high hopes for you for a little bit, Mastodon. High hopes. Okay, well that's gonna be a wrap on testing the Savivi Mastodon. Um, final thoughts? The action actually got better. <laughs> I'm not joking. Still not great, but it got better. Um, I was just doing this test to kind of mess around, but you know, I was also kind of trying to see what the limitations of this knife were, and I guess we found them. So, when it came to the whittling, and you guys have to remember too, um, not everything that makes it into the final cut of the video is everything that I did while testing. So I'm not sure what makes it into what's gonna what you guys are gonna see in the video, but um, I do cut stuff out. So. You know, just to keep things a little bit shorter or more concise. Um, during the whittling, uh, <laughs> hard blade to control, but very thin behind the edge. The edge itself took no damage through everything I was testing. I'm pretty impressed with that, actually. Good job, 9CR. Um, the chopping was amazing. I was chopping semi-soft aspen. Um, you know, some of it was the last, well, I think... I'm not sure what you guys will see again, but one of the things I chopped was a little bit harder. Did good with that. Great blade for chopping. The ergos were decent for everything that I did. You have a good choke-up point here I used in the whittling. Um, ergos were, yeah, decent. Um, however, that lockup. It's a big problem here. I mean, we can just do this on my knee. Maybe not. Maybe the lockup fixed itself. I don't know. Safety first, people. Anyways, maybe I'll do a disassembly of this knife, see if I can fix it. Maybe I'll put that in this video, or maybe I'll do a different one. You know what? I'll put it at the end of this one. Alrighty. <laughs> Here it is. The Savivi Mastodon. Uh, wow, all the beating I did on it really did improve the action. <laughs> so, here's the thing that I kind of started to notice um, as I was playing around with this knife. So obviously the, the lock was failing. However, the lockup has not changed from when this knife was new out of the box. And the knife, no blade play anything. Maybe a little bit up and down, but really not much at all. Still feels solid. I mean, this knife, it, it does not unlock just, you know, tapping it on, you know, something regular. In fact, let's bring out this thing here. So it takes a little bit of pressure to do it, which leads me to believe that the uh, lockup issue was from the factory and not as a result of the testing I was doing. Um, there's no real good way to, to um, tell that because I didn't check the lockup before I did all that stupid stuff I did, but we're going to take this knife apart and what we're going to do is try to bend the lock bar, which will do a couple things. It'll make the detent a little bit stronger, so maybe the action will be a little bit better and uh, hopefully it'll improve the strength of the lockup. And before we get into this, I will say, if anything happens here, if I wreck this knife, or actually, I mean, 
I'll have to talk to the owner of this knife because this is not my knife. And do not worry, I didn't just go out in the woods and abuse this knife just of my own volition. He actually, I talked to him about it and he wanted me to go and do some, uh, some testing with it. So I'll be reaching out to him and I'll probably end up buying this since, well, I can't prove that I wasn't the one who broke it. So anyways, it's Vivi, nice T8 hardware, of course. Bit of thread locker. Not bad, not bad. Yes, I'm using my chemistry goggles as our uh, my place to keep screws. Do like Savivi's hardware. Not only do they use T8s, but their hardware is good quality. Really holds on to your bit. Ooh, that screw is very loose. Interesting. That might have something to do with it. I don't know. I don't think so, really, actually. This knife actually bit me while I was uh, messing around with it. <laughs> I don't know if you can focus. Camera. It bit me there on my hand a little bit. This is actually the day after I was doing all that testing. Or actually, this is two days later. Jeez. Lose track of time. Do I have to take off the clip? Oh, I think I do. Don't like that. And we have to use T6s on that. So using T8s everywhere kind of is defeated by the fact that they make you, it's required to take off the pocket clip to disassemble this knife. And these are T6s. So that's, I would much rather it be that the um, pocket clip was not a requirement to take this knife apart. But looks like it is, so I'm just gonna deal with it. I don't know if I already mentioned, but the centering of this knife didn't come undone in all the testing I was doing, so. Okay, a little bit greasy in here. You know what, I'm gonna grab this right now because I know we'll need this eventually. Yeah, get off it there. Eat off of there. Come on. Come on. Uh, I'll grab my little pry tool. A little plasticky pry tool. There we go. I just had to get it off the stop pin. A little bit of gunk in there. Which is kind of to be expected. Ceramic detent. That's where the washers go. Okay. And I think these are just bronze washers in here. Nope. No Teflon secondary. Yep, just the bronze. Ooh, yeah, these can uh, focus. Yeah, these can definitely use a cleaning. That is for sure. Okay, I want to look at the stop pin real quick. Does stop pin come off or is it attached to... I think the stop pin should come out or is it part of that other scale? Well, I can look at it like this. So what I was wondering is if the, the lock pin, uh, or the stop pin, not lock pin, if the stop pin was damaged in any way when maybe when I was doing the chopping or anything. But it doesn't look like it, and that's a nice big stop pin. I like that. I like that a lot. You know, th this knife does have a lot of the makings of a uh, good hard use folder. I know some people are like, oh, folders aren't hard use. Well, I definitely have used some of my folders pretty hard. So, um, definitely there are things that a folder just will never be able to do, but there's actually a lot of stuff that you can get a folder to do. So let's clean off these washers because they are very, very dirty. Get over here, you. I injured my thumb recently too. It's sore on the end, flicking too many knives. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, whatever. Okay. Clean off the spot a little bit. Clean off the blade. So I'm really hoping that 
bending out the lock bar is all I need because otherwise it means that there's a problem with the lock face itself. So let's look at this. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I was impressed with this knife uh, and it, it, the performance I was getting from the chopping. This is a fantastic chopper, as you might expect from the the cleaver blade. Um, so here's our lock. And see, the thing is, is that the lock bar was... The knife is still locking out. It's not like... Let me grab my disaster example knife. <laughs> it's not like the Kaiser Jungus I have here where... Oh, look, it's locked up, right? Wait a second, did this knife lock up? Nope, it didn't. Yeah. That's a disaster. This knife wasn't that bad, but, you know, the lock was failing, and, you know, maybe that... Jeez, Louise Gideon. <laughs> oh, I'm a disaster. Anyways. You know, maybe that's just because it's a liner lock, not that strong, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, let's work on this a little. Okay, well, did a little bit of bending. Don't want to bend it out too much. Um, just going to point out right now, look at how the, uh, how, how milled out these, these liners are on both sides. That's pretty cool. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this permanent marker. Just gonna. I mean, I know this is kind of for lock stick, but sometimes when you bend out a lock bar, you get lock stick issues. So we're just going to avoid that altogether. Just put some sharpie on the lock face, and now let's get this knife back together and see if I have completely destroyed it. <laughs> so we're gonna get some lube on here. I'm using this instead of KPL because this stuff's a little bit heavier than the KPL I have. And tend to like to put heavier stuff on washers. Washers are good to grease. Uh, we will put some KPL in the detent hole. Ah, that was a bigger drop than I wanted. That's okay. Ah, KPL smells so good. Put a little bit of this Benchmade stuff there. Drop that on, put just a dot more on top. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and lock it out. I think I still have the T6 bit in my driver, so we're just going to do the pocket clip first. All right, come on, Savivi. You do so good giving us the T8 hardware where you make us all happy because, you know, it'll make maintenance easier, but then you make it so that we have to take the pocket clip off to take the knife apart and, you know, Hot clip screws are T6s, so I end up switching bits around anyways. Whatever. Got the T8 on here now. Hmm. Where did I get over here? Other screw. Thank you. Hmm. Something's not seating right. So I know a lot of people love early lockup. Um, I agree that early lockup is good because it gives your knife room to wear over over time. That way, oh, or it gives a lock. 
room to move over over time. And then, you know, what that basically leads to is a longer life for your knife. Now these back screws not going in right. Maybe I need to switch them around. Shouldn't have to, but maybe. Hmm. Wait a second, are these free spinning? I'm not twisting this side, twist that side. It's not something I'm usually in love with. Yeah, now it's not letting me get that screw in the rest of the way. Gosh darn it, Savivi, what you up to, huh? What game are you playing at? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. This is this is dumb. What? It, am I just an idiot? Am I doing something wrong? This screw, when I was twisting this one, it popped this one over there out the other side. I... Jeez. I've taken part a lot of... And now this screw is just not doing anything. Uh-oh. Computer's dinging at me. And this screw back here is stuck. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Nope. Look. Oh, turning that other side. Oh my gosh. Where's my other bit? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I don't have a little clamp with me right here. Mm, it might be mad. I don't have a clamp with me here. I got one back on the ranch, but I'm not here at college with me right now. My goodness gracious. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is going to make me mad. Okay, you know what? Maybe we just got to do it in the right order. Take the pocket clip off, we'll put him on last. Thank you, T6 screws, for being the only ones that work today. <sighs> My goodness. This time, no, it's just free spinning. My gosh. And now this one just won't even go anywhere anymore. Okay, so there we go. Hmm. I have to get a new screwdriver. You guys can hear all that screaming in the background from my lovely gamer roommates. Okay. Wow. I guess I should have just lock tied everything back before I did this because it came apart nice, but it's going together like crap. This is frustrating. Like, what's going on with that? Let's try and put that screw back in. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so we got out the screws on the other side. That's okay, we'll just take the whole darn thing apart again. Pop that pivot through. So what's that brand that's a budget brand that everyone talks about as always being just so great for maintenance? Yeah, I can't remember either. You know, I also don't like this thing that Savivi does. Instead of a D-shaped pivot, they have this stupid little... 
tooth there to catch in your logo. Um, yeah, I've broken those in the past. It was my fault over tightening it, but you know, just stuff like that you don't like to see. Come apart. Gosh dang, get off that stop pin. Okay, stop pin comes with it. That's right. So let's look at the mess we have back in here. Yeah, those things just spin. <sighs> These things is what I'm talking about. I realize I'm doing a lot of this off camera, but you know what? I'm not. I can't put all this in the video. That's just way too much. That is. Okay, well, right now we're going to get these driven all the way in. Ouch, hurts my thumb, but... Jeez. Oh, Just got to jam my thumb in there, and... No, I'm just going to cookie cutter my thumb off. You know what, I'm starting to think that maybe I'm just not good at disassembling knives, because this is turning into a disaster. Ugh, I've got pliers out in my truck, but I don't have to go all the way out to my truck to take to put this Civivi back together. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You know, I've taken apart several Civivis. In fact, in the case of stuff like the, the Riffle, I've taken my Riffle apart probably five or six times at this point. No issues. Maybe that's a fluke. Maybe every Civivi I've taken apart that was nice was a fluke, because this is... Oh, man, this is bad. I could go grab them pliers to pinch these and hold them together, but gosh, I just really don't want to do that. I want to screw those in. <sighs> okay, screw it. Can't get those out or in. They're just stuck in limbo. I guess you just want to take it apart from the other side. Maybe. I don't know. I don't flip it no anymore. And see, the reason I don't like doing that is because the side that has the pin that goes all the way through that you can, like, put your blade on doesn't go on this side. Ugh. Gosh dang it. Okay, you know what? Screw it. That way's too hard. We're just gonna do. I'm gonna do the way that I like to do it. That I want the way I wanted this to work out the first time. You do like this, so you have your pivot all the way through, and that means that you can put everything on around it. It just helps center everything. Keep your disassembly going the right way. I'm losing patience here, and I have to go to my mineralogy lab in, gosh, I've got to leave in like 10 minutes. Wow, I thought this would be like a 15 minute project, it's turning into a, oh my gosh, thank you, Savivi. 
See, that's why I wanted to get these out, so I can stick them in on this side, but whatever. You know what? We're not going to... That plan, obviously, is not going to work out. There, do that. But more, because I just want my whole desk to be a greasy, lubed-up mess. talks about so you being so easy to take it apart and put back together and everything and you know what I've had good experiences with them I have but this today is not one of them oh my gosh I guess we'll just put the I guess we'll just tighten down the pivot real quick to at least hold everything on for a while this video is going to be way too long. Gosh dang it, I need to cut a bunch of this crap out. Maybe the secret is to just get enough lock tight on these screws that they don't budge. They already had plenty of lock tight on them, but whatever. Whatever. Please just go in there like you're supposed to, like a real screw. Oh my goodness! Wow, it went in okay. So I guess you just have to disassemble this, disassemble this knife from this side, which is the side that doesn't have the tooled bit for the pivot. Yeah, because that makes sense. Now everything is just going to make me mad for the rest of this video. Is it really that easy just doing it from the right side? Which is actually the wrong side? Or is it just working because these were against the table and they were... Oh my goodness, come on. Mm, free spinning again. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Um, got these screws to go back in. A okay. This screw went back the way it's supposed to, and then this one's just being a little butthead. I don't know why. I really don't know why. And it's. Just free spirit. You know what? We're done with it. We're done with it. Not gonna mess with it anymore. Not gonna fight with it. Just gonna call it a done deal. And yes, um, yeah, I'm going to buy this knife from the person who sent it in. Uh, short answer: This knife uh, fails the hard using knife category because in order to be a hard use knife, in my opinion, you have to be able to disassemble it and reassemble it with ease. Because you're going to need to maintain it eventually. Okay, so, got to put this T6 back. Uh, where's my T8? Okay, sorry, my camera cut me off because I guess everything just wants to piss me off today. Anyways, quick update before I head off to my lab. Um, the action is stupidly good. It is maybe a hair off center. Is there any blade play? No. Let's see if we can tighten it just a hair. Just a little. Okay, centering is pretty much perfect now. Action. Yeah, okay. Um, yes, I'll be talking to the owner of this knife and I will buy it from him because I, I, I don't know what's up with this. I really don't. In fact, I don't think I've ever had a knife do that, where this screw just will not go back. <sighs> Anyways, this video was way too long. Um, it started out with me just kind of wanting to be a little bit goofy, 
in the woods to do a little bit of testing and then it, I, after that, I figured, you know what, this knife might actually be able to take it. I was kind of impressed with the way this knife was performing. Then the lockup issue happened, so I decided to try and fix it and I discovered a whole slew of other problems. Um, lockup is slightly, I don't know, I'll go and test the lockup afterwards. Um, not right now, but sometime I'll go test the lockup and I'll throw in a clip. Anyways, um, yeah, that that's all. Full review of this knife will be coming soon. Please, anyone let me know if they've had troubles like this with a Civivi because this is the first time I've ever struggled so much with a Civivi, so let me know. Is this just an isolated incident or has anyone else felt this? Um, actually, come to think of it, I think I've heard, I, I heard Lefty EDC talk about a certain Civivi that he had trouble with. Anyways, I gotta get going, so this is gonna be all for now, folks. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.